वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन रिस्पेक्टेड प्रिंसिपल मैम और माई टीचर्स माई फेलो स्टूडेंट्स हेयर आई एम ऑनर टू बी हेयर टू प्रेजेंट माई न्यूज माई एक्सपीरियंस एंड माई जर्नी आफ्टर आई पास आउट फ्रॉम मॉडर्न स्कूल एज ए प्राउड एंड नाइन ऑफ मॉडर्न सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल इट वॉज अ ग्रेट जर्नी टू बी इन द स्कूल एंड लर्निंग सो मेनी थिंग्स which has shaped my life which has also helped me build my future and also work on the things which has always tried me to achieve more in life the journey in the school was really amazing it was it was a roller coaster ride for us because we always wanted to have a fun learning with of course our main academics that's that's what we are here for the school so i i show you all come with a purpose to school every day you you come to the school every day to learn something new to meet your friends to grow each and every day so that's the whole idea of our life as well as we grow with the day every day we learn things we face new challenges that's what i will also talk with you guys that what challenges are there in life and how you can overcome those challenges and how you can build a very happy the most important part before successful so that you can build a happy and successful life so i i i think you all are from page 7 and 8 yes sir all right so uh, that's also the, these are the age groups so all this is a time for you when you start thinking what you have to do next if i talk about uh, your studies till grade 6 you were more focused on building basic life skills which was discipline so i hope i can see all of you sitting very attentively and i can see that the discipline is there within you which has been inculcated by your school teachers your faculty members which is very important part of your life discipline is really important because that makes makes you understand the importance of every single minute every single system that has been developed so after discipline comes your friends so the, the this is the most important part in your life to make friends as my friend vinay is also here we have been together for last 28 years so when you look back when you also grow up you look back with your friends you will find those memories you will find those learnings that have happened with your friends and you grow together you grow together you learn from each other friendship is about supporting each other in challenges challenging times of course helping each other to to be a better person that's what a friend has to do so for all of you please make sure friendship means that you help them to be a better person that that makes you even better so just make sure you make good friends and you make understand you should make sure that understanding of the social impact in your life you have to be a social uh, in in your future as well because this is what will will take you forward at this moment networking is very important so the journey i have i have uh, you know come come here till now i have seen that networking is has played a very important role in my life i met someone at some place and that person is still with me working with some project which i never thought of so you may show sure with whomsoever you meet you try to find out what exactly that person is what he is doing what are his qualities what is something that you can learn from that person and build that network that is really important because you 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 have to learn from others you have to make a habit of learning from others as well because yourself what are the capacities and capabilities you have they will remain with you but what others have that you can take from others as well so uh, i'll start with the so i will be focusing more on the challenges as well i will relate it with the challenges that have happened with me as well during my journey so after after the school uh i i graduated from mahindra college as well i did my 11th and 12th from mahindra college uh, in non medical and uh, the, the subjects were more for math science and the basic idea was to get into engineering field so when when uh, i passed out from the, uh, from the school the only thing i thought of was that how i can build my future that was one thing that was coming to my mind so when you when you grow up the, you have long term and short term goals the long term goals has to be a bit of 
uh, you know, your complete contribution towards your family, towards the society. And the short term goals are towards your specific thing, be it your marks, your grades, your achievements, and your next next course of action. So you have to define all your strategies into short term and long term strategies. So if, if I talk about my first challenge, of course there were a lot of challenges that happened uh, during the, the school days as well. We, we have to make sure that uh, uh, we, we do our academics every day, we take care of part we participate in the sports activities, uh, we, we, you know, we be part of the, the culture of the you know, learning, learning from each other. So in the school days, uh, I used to come uh, on bicycle from, from my home which was 5 kilometers uh, from school. And in the evening also we came from for sports activities again after going back to home. So it was two, two journeys that I was doing on bicycle. I'm not sure this is possible nowadays because of the traffic as well and because of uh, the parents, uh, you know, also that they are not... Uh, I, I'm lucky to be uh, seeing those independence where we could, we could be freely roam around, we could explore the things and uh, at this age your parents must be worried, much worried than our parents uh, I can understand from where they are coming because I am a parent also now and I am in the same zone and I am more worried about the kids that, that, that hampers sometimes that independence that we used to get. So that was a challenge to come back again but the only thing I was looking at is my target which was I have to do sports. I know I was doing cricket, I have to play the zonal games, I have to be in the school cricket team but of course when I go back I know I have to do studies as well. The only thing I used to try in school days was to build a routine. To build a routine for myself, I, I used to make my daily routine. So how many of you make your daily routines? Do you know that what time you have to study or what time you have to play or watch TV or uh, do maybe mobile as well for you because it's, it's mobile learning. So how many of you have a, a fixed schedule or a routine or a timetable? Oh, it's okay, it's, it's okay not to have it as well, so, but I tell you why it's important. So if, yeah, if you have it. All right. So, uh, can I have some uh, mic for your name, please? And uh, just yeah. Naman sorry. Okay. So Naman, uh, how it has helped you in achieving your goals? Uh, this making a routine or you know adhering adhering to a specific schedule. Uh, well, making a routine has helped me in my studies uh, much better because uh, uh, for that it is uh, like. Explore yourself and to, to understand the importance of independence. 
Till now, your teachers and your parents try you what you have to do. What you are doing, your schedule, your timetable, what you have to study, everything is being uh, designed or somehow guided by your teachers or your parents. But when you, when you enter a professional college, a big thing uh, is given to you, which is independence. Independence of studying at what your pace, independence of studying your subjects, and also independence of choosing what you want to do in your life. Then nobody can guide you because you know yourself better. You know what are your capabilities, what is your skill set. And the most important part I learned from Tamil was to explore myself in, in different things. I, I was organizing uh, college trips. Uh, I participated in a space settlement design competition that was uh, organized by uh, NASA uh, in, in US. And uh, we, we, were, uh, uh, we were fortunate to be selected as part of one of the team from Tamil College that was going to US. So we kept, we kept on exploring. I found this opportunity. I just grabbed that. I thought, okay, let, let's try this. And when I tried that, it, it went really big and we, we, we visited US as well in 2006 in college days. And again, when I went to US, I was not just participating in the competition. I was learning from US culture. I was learning the way things were happening in US. And when, I, when we went to the US NASA center, I saw there was a lot of students that were coming to the center for some, for some workshops. And I, I, I could see that there are no Indian students there. Then I thought, uh, I, I discussed with people what's happening. They said there are workshops that the students can attend, they can they visit every year. There were students from Brazil, Australia, uh, they were coming to US. Then, as I told you, you never know what can happen with you at any point of time. So I thought, why, why are Indian students cannot come here? So I came back, we started working on this idea, and we formed a company in the college of the Indian Times. So that, that there we started to organize programs for schools from India to take them to US for programs. So this is how when you go somewhere, when you when you when you are anywhere you are present, you have to see what what, what is the learning that can happen. What is something that, that you can take from here and build your life on, on those things. So you see, I went to US for a competition and I found an idea to start a business, and then we started that business as well. So that's another important part that execute what you think. Don't be a daydreamer, just keep on thinking that I can do this thing, I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be getting 90% or I'll, I'll be part of my cricket team or my football team. I'll represent India for uh, an Olympia or I want to be an officer. Yes, that's the stepping stone that you start thinking, you start uh, you know, thinking in your mind. Uh, that seed is, you know, just seed that in your mind. But you have to work on that. So, some, has it happened with anyone who thinks that I take 90% and you don't study and you get 90%? You have to study. Everything. You think and then you have to study to achieve your goals. So, execution is very important. And uh, then, uh, as I mentioned, my, uh, I was doing that, I started business in my college days. We had some, some uh, we tried to do some work. Uh, unfortunately, we could not find much work there. and. Uh, uh, I had my one of the uh, job offer from Infosys. It's an IT company, and uh, then I thought to join them because again I would say challenge challenge was there. My business was not working. I had a job in my hand. So what to do? Should I continue taking the risk? And then I have to calculate as well. So please make sure you always have to calculate your risk, your challenges, how you can you know balance the things. You have some duties as well. I had a duty to, to feed myself. I cannot ask my parents for money after my college. I have to, I have to make sure that if my business has grown, it has to be supported by my job. So I joined Infosys. Again, uh, when I joined Infosys, we went to Mysore for a six-month training. The most important thing that you was uh, used for me, useful for me from school days was discipline. They used to call us at nine o'clock in the morning, eight fifty. You have to punch your card. Now, in your school days, you can't be late after eight o'clock. You have to be standing in a queue, uh, you know, for a late comer. So, this is one thing that, that helped me in my job, initial job as well. And uh, I'll tell you one incident when I went for a meeting in Delhi from Chandigarh uh, for my business. I was late for by, for by an hour. That was because of the traffic. It was like starting on time. Because of traffic, I lost one of a very big client. 
and I still remember that after 12 years as well that what can go wrong with one single move of yours. So whatever you do, you have to make sure you calculate everything and you understand the importance. Life will not give opportunities all the time. You have to understand this is my opportunity. This is my opportunity to do an Olympiad because I know what I'm doing. I understand my strength. So please make sure you keep your mind open and you may, must understand what are the opportunities and in front of you. So that, that was a journey for, from school days to college to my first job and then of course the, when, when you started doing some entrepreneurial journey, your mind keeps on thinking on those lines. I, I, have to, I have to contribute something to society. The only reason I wanted to do something on my own was because I want my time to be mine. I can use my 24 hours. So there is a difference between job and uh, when you do your own business. Uh, anybody who understands what is an entrepreneur? Who is an entrepreneur? Who is an entrepreneur? No one? This is one of the biggest things happening in the last 10 years. Uh, you, you've seen uh, all these companies. Do you, do you know about Zometo? You order your food from Zometo? So what is, what is Zometo? It's a company? So somebody formed this company, somebody thought of this idea and built this company. And who, who has done this is called an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur thinks of an idea. Initially, when he thinks of an idea, he sees around what is the problem that people are facing. And then he tries to find a solution. And that solution becomes a company for you. Alright? So, now I know students who are entrepreneurs in your student life. You can be an entrepreneur in your student life as I, I know some of the kids who have done, who have built solutions uh, as, as a 14 year, 15 year old. Because your mind can think more than what I can think. Because I know I, I, I have a lot of uh, obli obligations, a uh, lot of uh, commitments to my family, to the society, to, to a lot of things. But for you, the only thing you have is to think, you can see and think. That's, that's the only job you have at this moment. Right? So, think of something that can be a solution for people and that becomes your idea. And when we were in our school days, uh, I know that uh, Yahoo was from came. You know about Yahoo? That time Yahoo came and uh, we, we friends, uh, we, we were graduates, we thought of building, building a Yahoo. Similar to Yahoo.com. So we started meeting in the school days only. We started in February grade 10. So we thought why not we build a website which can be so popular. So the idea is that you keep on teaching on something and then you build on that and then you see what are the results. So anybody who has some idea about any, any uh, solution to a problem or some, some problem you feel is not being solved properly. Can somebody give me any problem which, which, which you feel that okay, this is a problem every day for you? Anything. It could be anything. Maybe you are not able to wake up in the morning with the alarm also. What else? Can there be some device which, which can wake which can you up? Yeah. So, think on small things and it becomes big. You don't think about big things and then do those things. Think on small things and they become big. So that's the only idea in your life. Take one uh, small steps, that will, that will define the whole journey of the life. So these were the small steps I took. Now we feel that you know this. Then, uh, so I, I come to my uh, second venture which was into retail. So I, I had no idea. Uh, and I had no, no planning to do a retail business. The, the thing I was mentioning that where are you and what you are learning from those circumstances also define your whole life journey. I met someone in, in US for some different thing for just two minutes and that person was from, from Bangladesh and we built relations. And then he wanted to start a business in India and then we connected. And then he told me that you become my partner for India and then let's work it out. So a two minutes of meeting and then became a 12 years of long business relation. So
So that's that's how your whole life goes. You just meet someone for something, and then it it, it grows with every single step that you take. <laughs> that that told me, uh, that also guided me a lot of different experiences. I was able to meet different uh, people from different culture. Uh, I could understand people's problem as well. Uh, because you you have to be a problem solving if you want to have a successful future. Problem solving is very important. You you must be uh, you know having some problem within the friends also. So when you have some problems, you don't just shy away and you just say okay let it be. You try to find solution. Do you find solutions when you are when you have some fight with your friend or you have some disagreements? I would call it disagreements with your friends or family. Do you find some solutions or that person only find a solution for you? Yeah. Do you find solutions? Yes or no? So you have to find those solutions. And here comes my uh, another learning in in my life is negotiations. So negotiation is also very important. It's not like negotiation. It doesn't mean that you have to only win for yourself. You have to make sure that the, that the, the solution you are offering is good for both of the person who, who are involved in this. So if you have a problem, anything, uh, any uh, disagreement with your parents or anything. Don't come to a solution which is just for your uh, good. It has to be a, your parents also have to agree. They should be they should be satisfied with the solution as well. Or otherwise also on the other hand, your parents also when they give solutions to you, I I, I hope that they also feel that the solution is good for you as well. It's not just one one way solution. So these negotiations are very important part of the whole life journey. And now the, the the bigger challenge, the biggest challenge, I would say, is come as a COVID. So when when COVID came, uh, we we uh, most of the uh, you know jobs or businesses they they had a lot of issues. Schools also they had a lot of problems as well. Uh, with with your education, that is should be impacted. The teachers learn new things. The teachers learn new technologies. How to take an exam online? So did you take exams online in COVID? So, did you learn new things during COVID also? Did you learn some new things in COVID? You had so many days to, to be at home and learn new things. So, what I did was when the when the lockdown was announced on the first day, I thought what to be done. So, I made an Excel sheet 21 days program. It was 21 days lockdown. So, I created one one sheet. I started listing down something which I have never done and I wanted to do. So. I could not find time to, to learn making uh, creating a website. So 21 days, I listed down I think 14 different tasks I wanted to do in my life, and creating a website was one of them. Uh, then I wanted to uh, work, uh, you know, strategize my social obligation as well, my social contribution to society. So and I started thinking on the ideas and list down the ideas what I can do. So I made use of time for those twenty-one days. Anyone who has learned something new in twenty-one days, can somebody share your experience for those lockdown period when you were at home? Did you learn something new? Maybe you 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 you, you practice your cricket skills or you practice your chess skills. Some game you did not understand and you started to learn those things. Any anybody who has learned something new or some some experience of COVID? You you were small at that time. I'm sure like you were. It's almost four years now. You you were in grade two and grade three, so could not be a right question for you at this moment. But yeah, uh, your parents must have done something new with you in the COVID days. So they also found that this challenge is there. But a week we think that COVID is there and life is finished. That's not the solution. Solution was to to use that time to build something new, to to you know improvise yourself, and maybe sometimes. Just relax, meditate. Every day you are doing the same thing. You got less time of twenty-one days to do something new. And in the COVID, I got an opportunity to explore myself in business as well. I thought a lot of things are happening in education, worldwide. Then I thought that in some in US, some different things are happening. The systems are different. In Finland, the system is really different in education. I started understanding different systems. And then I started approaching people that if they want to collaborate in India for those solutions, and I found some company, one company in Finland, Edutech, and we worked together. And then they feel that okay, Indian schools need mathematics learning in different way, and that's again, again, that's a challenge. How many of you love mathematics? Very few. 
mostly boys. Give me some hands from the girl side as well. Love mathematics. So it's, it's a it's a subject that gets very many students fear of, and we try to find a solution to remove that fear, and we create games for mathematics. Yeah. Yeah. I used to compete with a. <coughs> I used to compete with a in mathematics. I study very hard, and at the end of the day, always put hundred out of hundred. I sometimes say ninety seven, ninety eight. He always say hundred. <laughs> But yeah, that, that was fun as well. Like uh, this is this is one learning as well. Like you know, like Vinay just mentioned that he wanted to get something to you learn from your friends as well. I learn from him that you can do more efforts. You know, efforts is one thing that can also that you know that can also make make you a better person every day. So please make sure you have to put efforts in whatever you do. So let's move to the next slide. And now your turn, students. I need your involvement in this one. So let's start with the first point: positive attitude. I want your feedback, your understanding. What do you mean by positive attitude? So somebody has to come forward and just say, say whatever you feel. Please, anyone, positive attitude. It's very, very simple words. Uh, you, all of you understand the meaning of positive and attitude as well. So let's find out some solution to that. What, what do you mean by positive attitude? Please, come on, shy. See, when, when I was a, a student as well, you never have to be afraid of what you say. You always say good things and right things. Don't worry. You always say right things. So go ahead and just just tell me if you like or one like also. One like is also okay. Do do yeah, please yes please go ahead. Now just. Don't worry, don't worry. Just say whatever comes to your mind. 
You know what it is? What is your name? Jiva. Jiva. So, uh, do you face some challenge uh, in your life? You know, what is a challenge? Just a moment. What, whatever you think is a challenge. Which is very difficult for you? Some, nothing, something which is difficult for you is a challenge. Something new for you is a challenge. Yeah. So, difficult and new is a challenge. You create an opportunity for that. If it's a new, big opportunity for you. you know, what is an opportunity? Yeah, opportunity is also a new thing. So, you convert your challenge into an opportunity and you grow. Please hear Thank you. Thank you. Guys, let, let's try to interact with others. So, I'll not hijack the meeting here. The channel is an opportunity, let me tell you. Jeevan was standing and Jeevan, these are all our friends. Like, when I was of your age, to be very honest, I never climbed these scales. Right? But today I am feeling very confident that I can stand here and talk to my friends and kids. So, there are two things between challenge. When we say challenge, we use the word opportunity as well. And it's different from the problems. We face problems, we face challenges as well. Two things are different, right? And we have to take the challenges head on, right? If something goes wrong, we need not to be scared of, right? When I was preparing for my Australia exams, I failed an English exam. I thought, wow, how can I fail, right? But it was my teachers and everyone in the school who asked me never to be scared of anything. Then I take the exam second time. I got failed, I shouldn't say I got failed, I got less marks because I have to meet some criteria, right? Second time I got failed, then I invested some money on some portal or some good books. I keep on reading the things. While I was driving, uh, I was going from my home to office, I used to sit in the cab. I started reading or listening English on mobile phones, I started listening English news. Then it was like an opportunity for me how people speak English easily and fluently, right? Our mother tongue is Punjabi. Or yeah, in Punjab, we speak Punjabi. Right? We never think of what's going wrong here. And whenever we have to put our emotions out, we always use our mother tongue, right? And we are very, you know, lucky or we are very smart. We learn multiple languages. And if you won't believe, I failed third time, fourth time, then I took a challenge and I had to clear this exam with full marks. After sixth attempt, I paid the fees again and seventh time I went on, right? I win. So if you keep on challenging yourself in a positive manner, the opportunity comes to your side. Then you say, now I am clear and now I am sitting in Australia. Very simple thing. It's not my mother tongue, right? English is not my mother tongue. I can speak Punjabi, Hindi. But I have to make a challenge. I can win English, right? So whenever you stand up, feel comfortable, talk to your friends, take it as a challenge, create an opportunity, right? Don't create it as a problem. Okay, it's a challenge. So, Jeevan, do think it was a challenge for you to stand up? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's really important that uh, you always feel that you always have to make sure in your mind challenge is an opportunity and you grow with every single step. Going out of comfort zone. So, uh, can I have some small tokens for those who have spoken in uh, Can you just come? Yeah. For what? Can you just help him out for those who have stood up and gave the answers and distribute this one till now? So let's, let's go going out of comfort zone. Very important in life. Please. Going out of comfort zone. Now you have to do the same thing. Going out of your comfort zone of speaking. Right? Going out of the comfort zone when you meet someone new. You, when you go to a new place, when you go to a new job, when you will go after your 10th, when you go to a new school or go to a new college, your comfort zone lies in wherever you have put your mind into a, a place. You have to remove your mind to all 360 degrees. So please make sure you are always ready to be going out of your comfort zone because there is a place that will uh, make you a better person and that, will, that is a place where you can learn more. So please don't be in your comfort zone like you are sitting and listening. Come out of your comfort zone and speak on what you want to speak. Learn and learn are very important. Very, very important. You are learning so many things which might not be required in your future. 
So just unlock them when it's not required. But take the take the take the uh, cusp of that, take the model of that uh, learning, and and move forward. I, I'll give you an example. When we was uh, when the this uh, e-commerce the enterprise uh, doing something new, they have to forget the old things what they feel in their mind. So if I feel I can sell my products on Instagram, uh, after two months Instagram no product is selling. It's YouTube now. So I have to learn how to sell on YouTube. I have to unlearn Insta. So you make sure that you have to learn, unlearn, and then only you can grow. It will be part of the process for your whole life. Just don't stick to whatever you have learned. No, things change very fast these days. That with your age, when you come to our age, I think it will be more rapid and it will be more fast and instantaneous. Today, this is a different thing, and tomorrow will be a different thing. Now it takes a month or two months. And maybe you are coming uh, time it will be just one day you change. So you have to make sure you are part of that change. If you are not part of the change, you are not doing. That's really important. And nothing is permanent. That's really important. If you are not scoring the eighty percent is not permanent, then you will not never score eighty percent. Like Vinay said, four types of failure. Nothing is permanent, and it will always be in English. So please, please make sure that nothing is permanent, and you can always change. And the last one. Uh, do you feel that failure word exists? Failure word. Uh, uh, do you all know the meaning of failure? Yeah, please. Very amazingly said. Uh, 
So, students, the only thing in life is to learn, grow, and enjoy the experience, enjoy the journey. So that's really important that you enjoy the journey of your student life, that you become some a college student, enjoy that journey, and keep on learning, finding out the right attitude, be positive. Never, never get disappointed. Yes, please. Anybody wants to say something? Here? Yes, sir, please. What attracted you to work with career path? Okay, okay. What attracted me to be on the career current career path? Where I am. So, see, it's, it's not just only one thing that I just mentioned to you. When you when you are in the journey, you find you see a lot of things. So when I was there as a college student, I found out a lot of different exposures happening, traveling to the world. For your information, I have traveled to all seven continents and went to Antarctica as well. That was a challenge that I, I did not discuss. Like, when I was going to Antarctica, so I thought that uh, what, what would happen? Would I be coming back or not? So I took a, a life insurance before doing that. So you will never know what things are coming, but I was excited as well. So as I, as I will answer it in this very short uh, phrase, that it has to be excited. It has to be something which, which drives you, which makes you passionate. So whatever, wherever you are passionate to do that, if I was passionate about traveling, I was passionate about my own time, so I started all those uh, you know different ventures. Thank you. Yeah, thank Good you. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, ma'am. I am Kamna from grade seven, and my question to you is, uh, what were the challenges that you faced in your career, and how did you overcome them? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I, I mentioned most of the challenges that, that has happened, so it, it's more about, uh, I would say, the most difficult to still I am learning is uh, how, how to make sure that whatever you want to say positively to other people and the same message goes, communication. So if, if, if I am doing something, if I am into any, any job role, I want to make sure that what I want to communicate, that is being rightly communicated to the other person who is who has to be there as part of that program. So communication has been a big challenge where you, you want people to be with you, you want people to be understanding what your thoughts are, what you want, and then of course listening to them and then bringing out the right solution. So that's that's uh, very important for all of you as well, that you always try to find the right solution. Yes please. Now, sir, I am Sayyid Khazan. My question to you is, what are some of the most valuable lessons you have learned throughout your career? Uh, I would say like, uh, to, to be, you know, as I mentioned that you, you have to trust people. You have to trust people. You alone cannot do all the things. Whatever you will do in your life, you will have people in, in, in everything, whatever you do. You have a family, then you, you go, you have friends to enjoy, you can't enjoy yourself alone. You can't do one single project alone. You need, if I am in marketing, I need someone in sales, I have some, someone in finance. So the expertise comes together, then it becomes a solution and it becomes a better journey. So be open to the ideas of people and try to be a good team work, team player. That's actually important. Good afternoon, sir. I am Nitin from class 8. My question is, what message of hope or inspiration would you like to share with students? Sorry? I repeat, my question is, what message of hope or inspiration would you like to share with students? So, I would say that uh, uh, life, life is a beautiful journey. So, don't think it's something has not found out what you have thought of. Keep on trying, keep on trying. So I, I happen to listen this one very often uh, in the COVID time when nothing was working out. So that's really important. Never stop. You not be defeated until your last breath. So keep on moving, keep on trying, and you will you will get what you want. So I thank uh, school management. And uh, of course, the teachers who have taught me as well, Harpreet Ma'am and Akshinam, they are here, learn physics and Punjabi from Harpreet Ma'am. I used to sit at the front when the uh, Heer Raja stories will come and she will always say, okay, he's come on the front now. So it, it has been a really great journey uh, from the school as well and I, I really feel honored to be here. 
and thank you for all your time i hope you all become a better a person a better person every day and you get whatever you achieve in your life so we have have your aim and just go for it thank you everyone thank you